Good morning. This morning I'm going to show you how to do an in the hoop gift card holder. This one is an Easter egg one and um, I'm going to use pre-cut vinyl that I cut on my scan and cut but you can trim it as you go. Um, it's fully covered on both inside and the back side and your card would just gift card would just slide in there and then it goes closed like that. So I have my tearaway stabilizer hooped and I'll stitch a placement stitch. Okay, it's did my placement. So the only one we're going to worry about is this one right here. And I spray a little of this Elmer's Craft Bond lightweight spray adhesive on the back of my, my pre-cuts to hold in place. Okay, so I'm going to take my pre-cut vinyl right here and I'm going to place it right in line with these stitches, with this stitch. Or try to. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to put it back on the machine for the tack down. Okay, it did the tack down, then it did the placement for my next piece of vinyl. And I sprayed the back with some of the craft bond. Oh, I'm going to line it up right inside the, my placement. Oh, my goodness. Like so. Press it down. And remember, you can also trim these by hand. You know, you don't have to use pre-cuts. Okay, there we go. Now I'll tack it down. Okay, it tacked that down and it also did the placement stitch for the next piece of vinyl. So that will go right there. Or fabric, whatever you're using. There is also a, a satin trim one for fabric that I've added. Now, depending on how soft your vinyl is, you may want to cover it with water soluble before you stitch out the Happy Easter because it may sink too much into it, okay? Let me tack this down. Okay, so it tacked this, that down and I'm gonna cover this with water soluble because I'm really not sure how soft this vinyl will be to uh, stitch on. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I did include a SVG so you can cut these templates, cut these out on your cutters, your scanning cut, your Cricut, your silhouette, okay? Now I'm gonna type or stitch the Happy Easter. Okay, it's did typed out or stitched out the Happy Easter. Now we're gonna turn our hoop over and I have my vinyl cut that I wanna place on the back of my designs. I'm gonna spray, it, spray them real quick. I'm gonna place it right over the stitch lines again, like show. Now, mind you, if you don't want to put a backside on them, you don't have to. I just think they look nicer. It's an option. It's an option. And these um, placement stitches will tear away when you remove it from the hoop. When you take off your stabilizer. Whoops, stuck to my, oh, wait, the water soluble, <laughs> melted with the glue. So I'll put my flower there, okay. I'll turn it over and then I press them all down like that. And now I'll put the flower in the top of my egg on. And once again, I will spray them because I don't want them to move and I don't want to tape. You don't have, you can tape. Okay, there's the top of my egg. Oops. Ouch. Darn it, Jim. And here's my flower. OK. 
Okay. All right. Now I'll place this back in the hoop and it'll do the last tack down. Okay, it's tacked them all down. And you'll notice it does a triple stitch here, but just a single stitch there. That's because when you put it on the other side of the egg, the big egg on the back, it'll do that triple stitch. So now you just pop it out of your hoop and tear them apart, you know, separate them. And you'll see how this, um, the placement stitch comes out. So just tear your stabilizer and then pull your uh, your placement stitch out okay so do that on all three of these set them aside and then rehoop another piece of um, tearaway stabilizer for the other part of your egg for the inside and the back okay There you go, and you can clean up the edges however you like to. You know, there you go, and as I said, just set these aside. Okay, it did the placement stitch. I'm gonna turn my hoop over, and I'm gonna place my cutout right here. Line it up with my placement stitch. It down. I've already sprayed them. And then here's my top, the other egg. I'm going to put that the same again on the top. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to tack them together. Okay. It'll do a single stitch around. Make sure I didn't move my bottom egg. Okay. Okay. It's uh, tacked them both together. All right. Now you're gonna take your bottom part of your egg only, and this one I tape because I don't want it to move, and you are gonna line up your edges. Just line it all up like so, and I am going to tape it there. And maybe I'll just put one right here across the bottom because it's gonna stitch through that, and I hate when it stitches through tape. So there we go, now I'll put it in, and it'll do the final stitch. Okay, there it did the final stitch, so I'm going to take my tape off. That's why I hate tape in there. Err. I said to myself, self, don't do it. No, don't. All right, there we go. It's off. Okay, and it's all stuck all over my fingers now. Okay. So I'm going to pop it out of the hoop, and you can trim any little threads that you have, random threads. Take it out of the hoop. Take off my stabilizer. And that placement stitch for the egg should come off as well. Come on. There we go. Okay. There's my egg. Now I have my, I'm going to use rivets. I have my hole punch thing here. Let me turn it to the, I put it on the smallest one. I have my flour and the top of my egg. First off, I'm going to pop a hole in my flour in the center-ish. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now I put my egg, I overlap, I make the, the, those zigzags line up with the stitch of the bottom egg. That way it overlaps a little, okay? Then I just hold it in my hand, you can tape it, whatever. And then I put another hole right about there. Just make sure you don't cut into the bottom egg. Oh, hang on, hold please. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Okay. Then I'll take my, oh, let's use gold. Okay. Pop it through this one. Pop it through that one. Pop it through. These are eight millimeter long posts. 
So depending on the size of your vinyl would decide how, uh, oops, how thick you want it. All right, let me get the hammer and hammer this down real quick so you can see. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, there we go. And voila! Where's my gift card? Probably in one of these others. Okay. Open it up. Put the gift card in it. Close it. There you go. Thank you.